Hello everyone. This is a third video in our applet series. As I already told you, I am discussing all these points in the end examination point of view. And now our topic is applet skeleton. Applet skeleton. See the first point. Most applets override a set of methods as shown below. So that means whenever you write any applet program, you are going to override all these methods. Along with these four, we are also going to override this paint method. See the point here, overriding. That means all these methods are present in the super class. And in our applet class, we are going to change the body. That is the meaning of overriding. So all these methods are present in which class means applet class. They are present in the applet class. And this paint method is present in component class. So what is the use of paint method? All of us know that it is used to redisplay the output. It is used to redisplay the output. So what are the methods? First one is init method. Second one is start method, stop and destroy. So this question can be asked easily for two mocks. Right? What are the methods that your applet has to overwrite? Then you have to list out all these methods. And if this question is asked for five mocks, then you have to write an example program also. So in this example program, this is a very simple program. Okay, Don't worry about this. It's a very simple program. As usual, we have to write the two import statements. And this is the applet tag. So I already discussed about this applet tag in the previous video. So if anybody don't know about this, you go and check the previous video, right? And now, so this is your applet. What is your applet name? Applet skeleton. Applet skeleton. And every applet class must extend this applet class. Okay. Now you are overriding all the methods. First method is init method, public void init. And second method is public void start method. And next one is stop method. And next one is destroy method. And next one is paint method. So in this example program, no need to provide body for all these methods. You just write the empty body. So what is the use of first method? I have given here one comment line. So this method is the method which will be called first. So whenever an applet begins execution, this method will be executed first. Remember one point, nobody is going to call this method. It will be automatically executed whenever your applet begins the execution. And after this, the start method will be executed. Right? So see the comment line here. It is called second after the init method. And it is also called whenever the applet is restarted. And see the next one, stop method. So it is called when the applet is stopped. And next one is the destroy method. Destroy method. So this is called when the applet is terminated. And this is the last method that will be executed and it will perform all the shutdown activities. And finally, if you want to display uh, any message on the applet window, then you are going to use this paint method. So I already discussed about this paint method in the previous video. Go and check it there. So this is a simple example program for an applet skeleton, right? And this is how an applet window will look like. And if you want to write few more points about this applet or about this topic, then you can write this point. So there are two phases in any applet. First one is applet initialization and second one is applet termination. So whenever an applet begins, the following methods are executed in sequence. So first one is init method will be executed first followed by start method and next if you want you can execute the paint method and whenever your applet is terminated the following sequence of methods will take place so first stop will be executed followed by the destroy there is a difference between stop and destroy so stop will temporarily suspend the execution of an applet but destroy will 
completely remove the applet or terminate the applet and if this question is asked for 10 marks then you can write these points also so I am writing at least one or two points about all the five methods what is the first method init method this init method is a first method to be called already I discussed about this and this is where you should initialize all your variables so if your applet is having any variables then you initialize all these variables in this inside this init method okay and you can also you know uh, give background color foreground color everything you can write inside this init method okay and next one is start method so this method is called after the init method and it is called to restart an applet so whenever you temporarily suspend and after that or later when you want to restart it then you have to use this start method and paint method everybody know that it is used to redraw the output and stop method this method is called when a web browser leaves the HTML document containing the applet what is the meaning of this suppose if this is your browser and if it is having two tabs tab 1 and tab 2 suppose in the tab 1 applet is running and tab 2 some other web page is there so whenever you shift from tab 1 to tab 2 then the applet will temporarily stop its execution right so at that time the stop method will be executed and the final or the last method is a destroy method the destroy method is called when the environment determines that your applet needs to be removed completely from the memory so at this point you should free up any resources that applet may be using right so initially at the beginning if we have assigned any or if we have given any resources to this applet at the end you have to release all those resources so all the statements that are related to releasing the resources must be written in this destroy method right so these are the points about this topic thank you for watching